I've been playing basketball ever since uh, I was in primary secondary school. I was training, but I suddenly fell down and I hit my head down. So I went to Huruma Clinic, Huruma Lions Clinic. Some of the doctors told me that I go for X-ray so that I may, I may be sure that uh, I'm epileptic. I learned about uh, different clinics, and since I was in Nairobi, staying in Nairobi, I had to fight my, my, my file to be brought to this place because I was told that there's another clinic in Karen Health Center. So now I can do anything for myself, come for my drugs for myself, because I'm right here, I'm staying right here. We have different types of epilepsy, general scissors and the partial scissors. For the partial scissors, they are just like, they don't lose consciousness. But the mainly the one that we know is the general tonic clonic scissors. The one that there is stiffness of the body, mainly it starts with a loud cry. Then there's that jerking. During that jerking, you might find a patient having a tongue bite or quenching of the teeth. For a follow-up clinic, that patient feels a, a sense of belonging. There are some people who understand my condition. It's important for them to do a follow-up clinic to avoid either complications of their condition. I started the first epilepsy clinic in uh, Matari, one of the church organizations allowed, given us some space. They themselves are looking after some handicapped children, and many of them were with epilepsy. We were giving free treatment, and we were giving the basic drugs. KCDF partners with organizations who have identified a need and um, a, a livelihood challenge that um, their particular community is undergoing. For Kawe, they work with people living with epilepsy. One of the things that Kawe does is provide medicine for people living with epilepsy. So they have, a, they have three clinics in Nairobi where they serve a very big number of people with epilepsy. We use our clinics to do this awareness and education people. Plus we have people we train, our social workers and volunteers, and they go out and spread the gospel. You have seen this beautiful container. Actually we call it home. KCDF came in to help us get a, a, a grant to put up this container on that side. The services are offered once a week on a Wednesday from 9 to 5. The people who come as far as Kitale, so they are given a longer period, even up to nine months, six to nine months, so that they are not coming all the time. They are able to come twice a year for the appointment. I really appreciate the fact that uh, KCDF came in to help this dire situation, which today we enjoy. Our results, by using very simple, basic drugs, Genetics, as they say, but we can treat a patient with epilepsy with a minimum of 200 shillings up to maximum of 500 shillings per month. When I was a second year at the University of Nairobi, that was around 1987, is when I started experiencing a funny problem. As the lecture is going on, I just stand up and start walking in the lecture room because I didn't know what was uh, whatever the issue with me. Then one time a doctor told me to go to Kenyatta Hospital to be checked the brain waves. So when I went there, they were checked, and then the doctor told me, we have come to a conclusion that you have uh, epilepsy. I tried my best, but life was really, stress was really a lot. Then there's a time a doctor just told me, now you want to be able to tackle epilepsy well. One thing you have to accept, you have it and you'll continue with life. Otherwise, if you don't accept you have it and you'll continue with life, even drugs cannot do anything because it's something concerning the brain. People from our community, like Luyas, they, they take epilepsy, they take it very, very badly. Because I remember the time I went for my grandfather's uh, funeral, nobody was greeting me. Because I bring a hand, they just take it far from me. But me at that time, you know, I was in uh, this association of Kawe, so I didn't feel anything. 
Kawe is a very wonderful association because counseling is just 200 shillings. And then you find the drugs, they say a drug which is 18 shillings in the uh, uh, pharmacy, you find it can be five shillings there or three shillings. I have a diploma in French language. So, but when I had this problem, I couldn't do anything. My body was weak. So I said it's about three years without drinking. But suddenly when this drug, I, I started using these drugs, I can go for training, I can go to teach. And right now, I have a wife and I have a, a six month girl. If you're looking at the contribution we make, the number of patients now we have registered already in our, in our three clinics are more than 16,000. There are at least four or 5,000 who are active. Besides this, we train people and all interested parties who want to help to do the epilepsy around the country. Do you know we have more than 30 clinics that are our satellite clinics around the country, supported by Kawa. I want to really thank these Kawa people for this. If it, was, if it wasn't for them, I would be here. And even sometimes I don't think I have it. I, I have it when I come here, that's when I do, ah, from there get to get some medicine. <laughs> but without coming, I'm like, ah, I'm good. No, no, the government is a two in the morning and two in two afternoon. Epilepsy is treatable, and someone with epilepsy can live a full life, a normal life. I've, I've not been falling for oh, oh, about uh, five years. I have a sister married in Mombasa. She has to come all this way just for drugs. It will be very good if these clinics, Kawe Clinic, all these drugs are going to reach all the other areas in Kenya.